today we are going to start solenoidal vector, irrotational vector, Laplacian operator that is del square and some of the assignments. Let's start. Alright, what is a solenoidal vector? A vector whose divergence vanishes identically is said to be solenoidal vector. Thus, the vector f is solenoidal if and only if divergence f is equal to 0. Now here, if and only if means both way this is true. If the vector is solenoidal, then your divergence f is 0. If the divergence of a vector is 0, then obviously this vector is a solenoidal vector. Then is an irrotational vector. A vector whose curl vanishes identically is said to be irrotational vector. That means del cross of any vector, if this is equal to 0, then it is your irrotational vector. Then is the Laplacian operator del square. The operator del square is defined by del square is equal to del dot del operator. That is the dot product of the del operator. And we know that the del operator is written as i curly by curly x plus j curly by curly y plus k curly by curly z. Its dot product with itself will give you curly square over curly x square plus curly square over curly y square plus curly square over curly z square. Right? So when the divergence of a vector is zero, it's a solenoidal vector. When the curl of a vector is zero, it's a irrotational vector, right? Now uh, the remarks are given. Again, we need to recall to solve the assignment. Grad phi is equal to summation i curly phi by curly x. Divergence of a vector is equal to summation i dot curly f over curly x. Curl of a vector is equal to summation i cross curly f over curly x. Let's start with our assignment 1. There is a result also. If f and g are scalar point functions, then divergence of f del g is equal to, again this is first function f, then del of del g that is del square g plus then the second function its dot product with the del of the first function del f right here uh, this is how you learn this let's prove this result now let me change the color of the pen thank you now what is del g it is i know curly over curly x g plus j curly over curly y g plus k curly by curly z of g. That means we have to derivate g with respect to x plus with respect to y plus with respect to z. Now the bracket f del g this is equal to multiply f scalar curly g over curly x plus j f curly g over curly y plus k f curly g over curly z. Thus divergence of f del g that means divergence which means I'm having this vector right I have to take the component so curly by curly x of the first component that is the coefficient of i which is f curly g over curly x then curly by curly y of the second component that is f curly g over curly y this is how we calculate divergence of a vector plus curly by curly z of the third component of the vector of which we have to find the divergence fine all right again first function then the curly by curly x of the second one 
plus second function curly by curly x of the first one. So first function, this is curly square g over curly x square plus then the second function curly g over curly x and curly by curly x of the first. Right? Plus again first function curly by curly y of the second that is curly square g over curly y square. Then second function and curly by curly y for the first one. Plus, again for the third, you write f curly square g over curly z square plus curly f over curly z curly g over curly z. Now in the next step, taking f common I get f curly square g over curly x square plus curly square g over curly y square plus curly square g over curly z square plus the product curly f over curly x curly g over curly x plus Curly F over curly Y, curly G over curly Y, plus curly F over curly Z, and curly G over curly Z. This is equal to, this is F, and this is nothing but your del square G. Isn't it? Yes. Plus, now this is nothing but your, if you write it as, Divergence of f dot divergence of g. This is the dot product of the divergence f and the divergence g. You can check. Hence the result. We have proved that divergence of f del g is equal to f del square g plus del f dot del g. Right? How to remember? First function. Then del of del g that is del square g plus this second function it's dot product with the del of the first one right so divergence of f del g is equal to f del square g plus del f dot del g hence the result Next example, this is very important one. If f vector is given to be a cross r, that is a cross product of a vector and r vector into r d power n, we have to prove that first, divergence of this f vector is 0 and second, curl of f vector is equal to n plus 2 r d power n a vector minus n r d power n minus 2 dot product of a vector and r vector into r vector this we have to prove uh, before uh, starting the before going to start first part we have to find the capital f we have to calculate this capital f which is given to be cross product of a r and r the power n first we get what is our r vector this is xi plus yj plus zk and a vector is let's take it as a1i plus a2j plus a3k both these are vectors now uh, for r the power n because we are having r to be equal to mod of r which is equal to root of x square plus y square plus z square if you take squaring on both the sides you will get r square is equal to this square root will go on x square plus y square plus z square so on squaring, you get this result r square to be equal to x square plus y square plus z square. <coughs> now I have to calculate this bracket, the cross product of a and r. Alright, now here, what is curly r by curly x? Let's check. 
If you take the derivative on both the side with respect to x, what you will get? 2 curly r over curly x is equal to 2 x. So from here, I got curly r over curly x. The value for this is equal to x. The bisymmetry, the value for uh, curly r over curly y. If I derivate this with respect to y on both the sides, then I will get y. And the value for curly r over curly z, I will get on differentiating both the sides with respect to z, I get this value to be equal to z. This is, excuse me, this is 2r curly r by curly x. Right? So I got x over r, y over r, z over r as my values for curly r by curly x, curly r by curly y, curly r by curly z respectively. So I'm writing these values now here. x by r, y by r because I need them. z over r. In advance, I calculated the values. Now the cross product, a vector cross product r vector. Now a vector is a i, a 1 i plus a 2 j plus a 3 k and r vector is x i plus y j plus z k. Now taking the cross product. Now first term, take the cross product with the second one. So because i cross i is 0, so this term vanishes, then taking its cross product with yj, I will get a1y, now i cross j is equal to k. Then a1i with zk, this will be a1z, now i cross k, it is a reverse, so this will be minus j. Take your sequence to be as i, j, k. Now for the second one, j cross i, j cross i, that means j cross i, again reverse, so this will be minus k. So minus a to x k. Then with j cross j, it is 0. Then j cross k. It is a forward sequence, so this is i plus i, a to z. A reverse cross product has negative sign. Now third one, k cross i, k cross i again forward, so this is plus j, a 3 x j. Then k cross j k cross j, this is a reverse sequence, so this is minus i, this is minus a 3y i. And k cross k is 0, so this term vanishes, which is equal to, now I'm taking the common i vector, taking i vector common, so this will be a to z minus a 3y. Then taking your j, to, uh, sorry, j to be common. So this is a3x minus a1z. Taking k common, I get a1y minus a2x. Fine. Now let's get back to our given f vector f vector is given to be a cross r into r the power n so my f vector is finally now this a cross r into r the power n that means whole a cross r i have written then r the power n with every term right because r the power n is multiplied with a cross r so with every term you Multiply r the power n in all these three terms, right? So finally my f vector is equal to this Now let's start calculating first the divergence of f To be equal to 0 I have to solve this to be equal to 0 to show this equal to 0 Let's calculate the divergence of f first
Now for calculating the divergence of F, just now we have read the remarks that divergence of F is summation I curly F over curly X. Right? Just calculate the summation and the first term of the divergence F. So this is I vector. Now, this is equal to, I know that curly F over curly X. Now, this is curly over curly X. What is the first component? I'm having the first component to be A to Z minus A3 by R the power N. A3y r the power n and also the i. Now if taking the dot product this will be 1 because i dot i is 1. So I am having curly over curly x curly by curly x a to z minus a3y r the power n. Now taking the derivative with respect to x. Let's write first function then derivative of second plus second function the derivative of the first. So first function derivative of the second that means curly by curly x of r the power n. This will be n r the power n minus 1 curly r over curly x plus second function derivative of this first because in the first function there is no x so derivative is 0 a to z minus a 3 y n r the power n minus 1 into now I know that curly r over curly x is equal to we have found curly r, curly r over curly x is x by r and by symmetry curly r over curly y y by r and z by r respectively. So this is x over r plus zero because the derivative for this first function is 0 so this is 0 actually this is equal to summation a to z minus a 3 y n now r taking r to be in the numerator this is r n minus 2 into x now if you open the summation now what you will get if I open this, I will get, now this is for the x, now I will write the terms for the second and third. So this is n r minus n r the power n minus 2 common a to z minus a 3 y x plus check your rest of the f vector. We have written the summation for the first term, right? And now because we are opening the summation, so I am writing the result for the second term plus the result for the third term. So this is for the first term I got a to z minus a 3 y into x and r the power n minus 2 common n into r the power n minus 2 common. So second, the result for the second term will be a 3 x minus a 1 z y by symmetry a 3 x minus a 1 z into y then third term will be by symmetry a 1 y minus a 2 x into z so a 1 y minus a 2 x into z and now if you open this 
your x term will be cancelled x z term will be cancelled if you open all this all these terms are cancelled out with each other so this is equal to zero finally so i have proved that divergence of f is equal to zero what we have to do is just calculate from the path your submission and the first term of divergence f right after solving this you get a result and then open the submission and get your second and third term by symmetry and then calculate right okay next is curl of f is equal to now i have to prove that curl of f is equal to what curl of f is equal to this n plus 2 r the power n a vector minus n r the power n minus 2 dot product of a and r vector into r vector this i have to prove so let's start with the curl of f now how curl of f is found we write in determinant form i j k then curly over curly x curly over curly y curly over curly z then first the coefficient for i vector in f vector then the coefficient of the j vector in f vector then coefficient of the k vector in f vector right after this i'm writing in summation only the first term right because i have taken the summation so i write only the first term when i open the summation i write the second and third term respectively accordingly by symmetry right so just we have to calculate only the first term with this summation now first term how first term is calculated yes this is i vector yes curly over curly by the cross product of curly over curly by with this minus curly over curly z by this with this so this is curly over curly y of a1y minus a2x r the power n minus curly by curly z of this a3x minus a1z r the power n clear just calculate only the first part taking the summation now i'm solving this i vector all right first function derivative of the second plus second function derivative of the first now first function a1y minus a2x into derivative of this r the power n with respect to y this is n r the power n minus 1 curly r over curly y then second function derivative of the first one second function is r the power n and now taking the derivative of the first function with respect to y which is equal to a1 only because a2x has no y so it is a1 then again solving this minus first function derivative of this r the power n with respect to z just keeping on mind the signs first function derivative of this n r the power n minus 1 curly r over curly z minus second function r the power n derivative of the first which is minus a so minus a1 so i'm just writing plus a1 r the power n here this is equal to summation now this is a1y minus a2x n r the power n minus 1 now curly r over curly y is y over r very good plus 
आर दी पावर एन ए वन माइनस दिस इज ए थ्री एक्स माइनस ए वन जेड एन आर दी पावर एन माइनस वन कर्ली आर ओवर कर्ली जेड इज जेड बाय आर वेरी गुड प्लस ए वन आर दी पावर एन This is equal to summation. Now uh, R is in the denominator. After uh, taking this into the numerator, this will be R the power n minus two, right? So this is. A one y minus a two x n r the power n minus two into y now plus r the power n a one and here also r the power n a one so this will be sum up to 2r the power n a1 minus a3x minus a1z n r the power n minus 2 into z fine all right now in the next step i multiply this y inside this bracket i multiply this z inside this bracket so this is equal to and this is summation 2 a1 r the power n plus this is a1 i am multiplying y inside y square minus a2 xy n r the power n minus 2 minus a3 z x minus A one z square into n r the power n minus two. Up to this, all steps I think clear. So this is equal to now taking the summation inside with every term. So this is two r the power n outside and summation with a one i. Right plus Now here, n r the power n minus two I'm taking outside. n r the power n minus two is outside, and then the summation i vector with a one y square minus a two x y minus a three z x minus Sorry, plus a one z square. Fine. All right. This is equal to two r the power n. Now, if you open this summation, this summation will become a one i plus a two z plus a three k. So this is nothing but your a vector. If you solve this summation. Your first term is a one i, so respectively second term will be a two j plus a three k. So all over this is nothing but your a vector. Okay, I write here. This is equal to a one i plus a two j plus a three k. This is nothing but your a vector. So instead of summation a one i vector, I write a vector. I calculated the sum, so it's a vector, right? Plus n r the power n minus two. Summation i. Now see, in this bracket, I'm having a one y square plus a one z square. What if if I have plus a one x square? Right, 
So just add and subtract a1x square. So I am adding a1x square and subtracting a1x square. So I got taking a1 common, I got x square plus y square plus z square. Right? And from here I have taken common x. So this is a1x plus a2y plus a3z. This is equal to 2 r the power n a vector plus n r the power n minus 2 summation i vector. This is a1. Now, x square plus y square plus z square is your r square minus x. Now, a1x plus a2y plus a3z. This can be written as a vector dot product r vector. See, your a vector is a1i plus a2j plus a3k and r vector is x1i plus x not x1 but xi plus yj plus zk right if you take the dot product you will get a1x plus a2y plus a3z if you take the mod of r you will get x square plus y square plus z square under the root, right? That is equal to r square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square if you square both the sides. So this is your r square. I have also solved this r square at the very start of the proof. So this is equal to now this is r the power n minus 2 and this is r the power n a and here also I am having if you open the summation let's open the summation first 2 r the power n a vector plus n r the power n minus 2 summation a1 I vector taking this r square outside so this will be r the power n only if you okay in the next step I will do this taking this summation with the first term and then taking this summation with the second term and r the power n minus 2 summation x i and taking this a dot r outside because this is your scalar quantity so summation will be with i x Plus, this will be n r the power n. Now, summation of a1 i. Again, this is, if you open the summation, you will get a1 i plus a2 j plus a3 k. So, this is summation of a1 i is nothing but your a vector. Minus n r the power n minus 2 dot product of this into Summation of xi. What is the summation of xi? This is xi plus yj plus zk. Writing second and third time by symmetry. So this is nothing but your r vector. So this will be equal to taking r the power n a common. So I get n plus 2 r the power n a vector minus n r the power n minus 2 
dot product of a vector and r vector into r vector. This is the required result we have to prove. We have proved. Alright guys, uh, next time we will do some more examples. Uh, I'm giving you one example as your assignment. This is an exercise for you. Find curl V where V vector is given to be e the power x, y, z and its product with i plus j plus k. This is your V vector. You have to find the curl of V first and then you have to find for the second V vector is equal to x square minus y square i plus 2xyj plus y square minus xyk. For this also you have to find curl v. So you have given two v vectors for the first and the second. For both the parts you have to find curl v, right? And I'm also giving you the answer for this. Answer for the first part, it is equal to e the power x, y, z, x into z minus y, i, plus y into x minus z, j, plus z into y minus x. And the solution for the second part is y minus x i plus y j. Just try these two parts. Uh, thank you very much. Next time also we are going to solve some more examples. Uh, thank you. Goodbye. Have a very blessed day.